So we're going to look at the properties of addition. The properties we'll focus on are commutative property, associative property, distributive property, and identity property. So now let's look at the commutative property. What this simply states is when two numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of the orders, the order of the numbers. Now let's look at a few examples to demonstrate that. If I have 3 plus 4, what this rule states is that it's going to be the same as 4 plus 3. And to prove that this is 7, this is also 7. If I have 18 plus 2, it's also the same as 2 plus 18. When you add these numbers together, you're going to see that the property is true of addition. Now the associative property tells us that when three or more numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of the grouping of the numbers. Now let's show what that means. If I have something like 2 plus 3 plus 4, so let's look at, we're going to write 2 plus 3 plus 4 here also. So we're saying this right here is going to be the same as this. So this is going to be 2 plus 7. This is going to give us 5 plus 4. And we can see that 9 equal to 9. So just to understand this, if I have three or more numbers added together, regardless of the grouping of the numbers, the sum is going to be the same on both sides. Let's look at something with four numbers. Let's look at 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And we're going to have the same right here, plus 4 plus 5. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to group these numbers this way. And then I'm just going to group this right here. So 2 plus 3, we get 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4, we get 9, equal to 2, plus 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5. 5 plus 9, 14. 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 5, 14. So just to recap on the associative property, if you have three or more numbers that are added together, the sum will be the same regardless of how you group the numbers. Now let's take a look at the distributive property. It says that the sum of two numbers multiplied by a third number is the same as the sum of each of the numbers multiplied by the third number. Now let's demonstrate this. What we have here is if I had something like 2, that's your third number, and 3 plus 4 is this is the sum of the two numbers we're referring to so this is equal to what this rule is saying is that it's the same as 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4 let's see if that is true so this is 2 and then 3 plus 4 is 7 this is 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 4 is 8 so 2 times 7 is 14, 6 plus 8 is 14. So you can see that the rule holds true. Let's try another one. 5, 7 plus 8. So this is going to be the same as 5 times 7 plus 5 times 8. So here's what we have. 5 times 15 here. 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 15, that gives us 75. 35 plus 40 gives us 75. And finally, we're going to look at the identity property. And the identity property tells us that if I add any number to 0, I get the same as the original number, which is pretty straightforward. 1 plus 0 gives us 1. 12 plus 0 gives us 12. 
125 plus 0 gives us 125. So these are the main properties that we will use whenever we're dealing with addition.